Hi guys, I just wanted to run through how I made my cauldron today, or should I say the coals for my cauldron today. Um, it took me about three hours time to put it together, and that included drying time, but it was hot as Hades here, and the humidity is high, so it dried pretty, the foam dried pretty quickly. Um, here, let me show you what I got, and then I will try to explain how I put this all together. So, here we go. Um, this is just a piece of cardboard here on the bottom that, um, that I already had in my garage. I laid it out, uh, the cauldron right in the middle. I actually cut, I actually cut the piece out where the cauldron sits because that, uh, cardboard is going to be stuck to that foam. I'll cut around the outside of it and I may eventually pull it off, um, completely. Um, once I had that done... Uh, I stacked up some styrofoam, some white styrofoam bricks that I already had kind of around the outside of the cauldron just to save on my great stuff foam, kind of help build it up a little bit. Uh, anyway, here's some of the, here's the products that I used. Um, we've got, uh, I used two 16 ounce um, cans of this, uh, this great stuff foam. And once I had that on there, I used uh, black flat paint. Um, and these are the lights that I got, the orange lights that I got from Amazon. Um, I think I paid $17 for those. Once I had it painted black, I also used this uh, acrylic paint. It's kind of a, it's really more whitish looking, but it has a tint of gray in it. It was just some, somebody was giving away. Um, Anyway, once I um, stacked up that styrofoam, I just laid out the lights right around the outside of it and sprayed the foam directly on top all the way around and pretty immediately stuck in the bones. Um, I laid out the bones first. I bought this bag of bones from Walmart for about 20 bucks. Um, I kind of just stuck them around sporadically and I had my sticks ready as well, which I picked up out of my yard and stuck them around down in the foam, kind of pushed them down in there a little bit so they didn't come loose. Um, you can see I've got the lights going right now. These lights are multifunction, um, which uh, they kind of go slow to fast, which I'm not as crazy about, but, but um, anyway, they are what they are. So, um, I'll eventually take this, it's stuck a little bit. Once it dries completely, I'll take this cauldron off and can unwrap it um, and put it back down in there. Um, you see, I've left the cord in the back. You just pull it out of the bottom here. See, it goes right up underneath so that you can have the plug right there in the back. It's got a little multi-function to it. Um, so I can leave it on steady if I like. When I dry brushed it, <clears throat> I pretty much started in the back because I didn't know exactly how it was gonna look. So to test it out, I started back here in the back and um, and I used pretty much, once I wet the brush, I pretty much um, dry, took most of the paint off. I mean, it was pretty dry. The brush was pretty dry. And then I started adding some more white. You can see some of the white spots, the bones, I made a little bit whiter so they stood out. In some spots, you'll see a little more white than you will, um, so it looks gray in others. In the skull, I kind of highlighted around his eyes. Um, Here's some other bones where I highlighted them and made them a little bit more white than the rest of it. Um, and it looks a little bit bigger, but this is just underneath here. This black is just from where I spray painted. It's not quite as big. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all that I used was that bag of bones, a couple of cans of foam, the black spray paint, and the lights. Um, it looks really cool. I'm going to pull the garage door down. You can see it a little bit better. There we go. In the dark, the way the foams look. The, there you go. The lights look at night. You can see them pretty good. Anyway... People were asking for a little bit more instruction on how to do this thing. So, hope, hope this helps. All right. Happy building.
so this is just um, styrofoam packing that came in a box with, um, I think it was a TV. I just broke it apart and put it around the bottom of the cauldron to start with, just to build it up a little bit so I didn't waste all the foam. I didn't include this in the first video, so I just wanted to add it so that you knew what it was that I used down there. There you go.